All right, guys, so listen, not a big day at the flea market. It was extremely cold, maybe the coldest flea market day of the year so far for me. Not a lot of vendors and not a lot of buying opportunities for anything. But I did come away with some stuff, as you saw, and I want to research it to find out if I did good on it or not. Um, but listen, be sure to stay in for the whole entire video, the rest of the video, the aftermath, the recap, because got a huge comic collection that was purchased on eBay that includes a really awesome really rare and really major key issue comic book. So be sure to check out this video in its entirety. All right, guys. And just one more thing. Since we just hit a thousand subscribers, I did this for my 500 subscriber um, uh, milestone. But since I've hit a thousand, please leave any question you have concerning this channel, whether it's about collectibles, whether it's about uh, my dad and I's personal uh, life or preferences or what we do, what we look for, our process. Um, what, what you think you should be looking out for, what I look for in, in, in buying and selling collectibles, anything like that, anything relating to the channel, leave your question down below in the comment section. And we're going to, my dad and I are going to try to answer it in a Q and a session, probably in the next video, or maybe in a week or two from now, I'll, I'll see about the scheduling, but, uh, we'll, we'll make this a thousand subscriber Q and a, please leave a question, any comment concern, leave it down below. Let me know. And I thank you guys for your support so much. All right. Enjoy the video. Good morning, YouTube. CGL's New Jersey Collectibles here on another Saturday morning. Uh, it's early, it's cold, and we're going to the flea market. Um, big shout out to everybody that subscribed to the channel. I just surpassed 1,000 subscribers, which was a huge milestone goal of mine. So thank you for uh, everybody that's stuck around and, and joined me on this journey. And welcome to everybody that's watching these videos for the first time. Um, no dad today. So I'm riding solo again. Hopefully I don't end up carrying a bunch of stuff. Uh, somebody suggested in the comments last week that I needed to bring a little cart or wagon with me. And uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Don't have it this week though. So uh, hopefully we find some good stuff though. Um, I'm looking to buy some quality stuff. I'm not looking to just buy anything. And um, yeah, that's it. All right, I'll see you guys there. How much are the magazines? Uh, it would just depend on which one. Okay. I think I'm gonna grab this guy in front. Uh, 10. 10? Yep. Actually, United should give me five bucks. That's five. That, that'll work.
Yes, hello again. Hi. Just uh, these two? Three. These three, three not that, oh, that's yours. This right? one's mine, yeah. 30 bucks. 30? They go for a lot more. They yeah. Go, yeah. I wish they had the covers know, on them. But this, the graphics are nice, but you know, the, the advertisement. Yeah, I really like it. It's really cool. Monsters. I love that stuff. Me too. I'll think about it. I'll walk around. What do you want to pay? Oh, uh, I'd like to pay 15 if I were a piece. How about 20? Deal. Okay, thanks. That's a deal. There you go. Thank you. Thanks. All right, guys. So let's just start off by showing what I got at the flea market. Got a big, uh, got a big collection coming um, via eBay. But I'll show you what I got at the flea market first. So for five bucks, got a sport magazine Johnny Unitas cover. Um, in case you guys don't know, I'm a huge sports fan and I'm a huge football fan in particular. And when it comes to football, I'm more of a football historian than anything than most people that I know. So I really appreciate stuff like this. It's super cool to see. Uh, I asked the guy, he said $10. And honestly, I, I think I was just going to walk at $10. I, I really didn't want it for that price because I'm buying this to keep it, to hold on to it forever and ever, uh, not to resell it. So when he said five bucks, I was like, you know what? It's worth it. So that was pretty cool to see. Definitely don't see Johnny Unitas memorabilia too often. And then, uh, this is the same lady that I bought the Yu-Gi-Oh cards from last week. Now, I had never seen this lady at the flea market before. And she might have been there, but I never bought anything from her. And now she's been there two weeks in a row bringing some cool stuff. So, hopefully she keeps coming. Um, unfortunately, these are... I don't like. I don't know what these are. Um, they're, they might be worthless. Uh, they might have some value. They have some value to me. Um, and they certainly had value to the woman who was selling them. She, she knew what she had. She knew why I was interested in them. I was kind of hoping that I was going to pull out some pieces of paper, some crappy old pieces of paper, and she was going to say, oh, give me like a dollar or two dollars a piece for them, and I would have been a happy camper. But I, I found these three magazines that have some really cool graphics. This was the first one that I found. It said, Stan Lee presents Monsters of the Movies, and I thought that was pretty cool. And um, yeah, she said $30 for all of them, and I wasn't going to pay $30 for some coverless magazines, uh, no matter how cool they really they really were. I don't know what they're worth. I don't know what magazine it is. I kind of got to do a little bit of research on that. I can't wait to flip through them and just see what's in there. But obviously some cool sci-fi artwork and, and horror, horror artwork in here, so really cool. We ended up settling on uh, 20 bucks for the three. I would have been more comfortable at 5 bucks a piece, but... $20, you know what? I think they're cool. I don't see these that often, and the lady who sold them to me worked with me last week, so I paid her price on the 20 this week. All right, and that was it. So that's the video. Have fun, everybody. Oh, wait, wait. I do have some comic books to show you guys. All right, so this is a collection. Uh, this, I believe this broke up into two collections that my dad bought uh, on eBay. Bunch of Flintstone books. Now, these Flintstone books averaged out to, I believe it was two bucks a piece um, for the for the cost of the collection. And there's some pretty cool ones in here. I love these Marvel comic Hanna-Barbera's. Um, they came later than the, the gold keys, but the, the artwork on them just, it pops, you know, like it's it's really cool. And, uh, and this one's got the cover chopped off, but uh, obviously I love the Scooby-Doo ones. Those are still my favorite. I just like Scooby-Doo in general. Uh, got to the Jetsons, uh, the Dino Mutt, but these, these, and I, I'm pretty sure that the Marvel comics in general, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're not worth as much, um, just because they they are the later comics, the original ones from the, from the '60s and the early '70s uh, that were made by Gold Key are probably more desirable, but the Marvel comic ones are so cool. I mean, you can't just you can't deny that. 
Like, look, look at how this, this cover just pops at you. Got some Yogi Bear. Another Yogi Bear, number nine. And a duplicate. Here's some original Flintstones. Now the original, I'm not, I'm not dissing the original. The original still, still holds up pretty good today. Uh, one second, I got two and one here. Let me see what this this back book is. This was the one that was in the back. That one's got some water damage to it. Uh, you know, two bucks a piece on these. Definitely not bad. Uh, looks like a lot of these are actually doubled up in these bags, so I'll just take the time to take them out. A lot of Flintstones. Flintstones starring Dino. Charlton Comics. Yeah, so pretty cool stuff so far. And a two bucks a piece, I mean, I'm just gonna try to get out of this glare. Two bucks a piece, really not a bad deal at all for these. Uh, especially this last one that I'm gonna get to in just a second is my favorite of the bunch. So that was that collection, and then this was the last book. Man, there's uh, these these cartoon comics, these Hanna Barbera Super TV heroes. They will never ever get old. I mean, when I was a little kid, um, my dad had recorded VHS tapes, like um, blank tapes that he recorded episodes on um, pro before I was born. So, Mitor, the Herculoids, Space Ghost. Um, what's another one? Birdman that was on the tip of my tongue. Uh, these these guys these these cartoons will just hold up in my childhood forever. I don't expect other kids my age and young adults my age to relate to this in any way, shape, or form. But for me, these are the cartoons I grew up on. I mean, <laughs> I, I sound like I'm a kid from the '60s, but these these are the cartoons that I grew up on. I mean, I, literally the the uh, you know these '60s Hanna Barbera cartoons. That's uh, uh, so this this comic to me is. Every time I see these, they're they're never asking enough. I would always pay more than than what people are asking for these guys. Um, but super cool. All right, now let's get into the juicy stuff. Do I want to show the awesome comic first or last? We'll save it. We'll save it. We'll delay. We'll delay gratification. So these were a, this was a batch of Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen comics. And the, this was an entire collection purchased on eBay, and the entire collection averaged out to three bucks a piece. So, um, obviously not cheap, but all things considering, very good price. Very good price. That one's got a little bit of damage there in the corner. Some of these are in really nice shape. Like, look at that one. Check out this one. Super nice condition. Always, always, always pay up for quality. Um, I don't care if you're asking a hundred bucks a book. If it's worth it, it's worth it. Um, so, so these are in really some of these are in really nice shape. The quality is there. And we got 108, 107. 105. Um, going back up to 124. 123. And guys, listen, as I'm going through these books, just wanted to give a huge shout out to everybody that uh, I said this earlier before I went to the flea market, but a huge shout out to everyone who subscribed to the channel and has supported me. 
uh, through the good, the bad, and the ugly. I really appreciate it. You know, and before I started my YouTube journey, uh, before I made my first video, I never thought I'd hit a thousand subscribers. I never thought I'd have so many people watching uh, my videos. And here's a 10 center, number 47. And, and But then, honestly, um, once I put a couple videos out, especially once I did the first flea market video and I saw the response I got, you know, I, I just, I knew we were going to get to this point. I, I really did. I just, I knew that, you know, um, I was getting some really good support and I was, I'm, I've been getting support from some people since day one. So, I mean, that you, and you guys know who you are. Uh, every, every video, get a comment. I'm sure I'm getting likes from you guys. I can't see who does and who doesn't like my video. At least I don't know how to do that. But I know I can always read the comments, and that's it's always a, a bright spot in the week uh, to see the the same people returning, and then see new people coming in all the time. Every video, it's a new it's a new person coming in, and super awesome. All right, so before we get to the big key issue, I did get a little pre we got a little present. We got uh, thank you for your order, free gift, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Warriors of Plasm. And there's another book in the back. I guess I'll take that just for the heck of it. Oh, well, there's a couple in here. Let's let's see what's in here. So you got Warriors of the Plasm number one. Warriors of the Plasm number three. Number four. And number five. So thank you, Brian, for that little gift so let's get into the big reveal i think you guys know what it is it is a jimmy olsen book if you guys haven't guessed here we go jimmy olsen superman's ex-pal the new jimmy olsen 134 there it is pretty rough shape but it's there go through it here and you guys can see not not in the best of condition but it's it the covers attached the book is complete and i'm sure you guys know if you don't this is uh, many will would say the first appearance of dark side the first cameo appearance however you want to say it but this is it this is the first appearance of dark side in the dc universe so super cool book major key issue it was in a collection of comics um, that it was not put out right in front, so if you didn't really look hard at it, you wouldn't have seen it. Um, we 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 found it and got the whole collection of Jimmy Olsen's for three bucks a book. It would probably would have been worth three bucks a book if it wasn't even without this comic. Um, but with it, you know this this turned into an amazing uh, batch on eBay, one of the better batches that we've purchased um, in recent memory. So super cool. Not a great day at the flea market, but hey, we made up for it with the with the eBay uh, haul thanks to Dad. And yeah, that that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing. Um, please leave a comment down below. And let me mention um, that per the 1,000 subscriber landmark that I achieved, I want to do another Q and A session. So if you have any questions relating to collectibles, um, uh, collectible finance, uh, trends, uh, my life, my dad's life, any questions whatsoever about the channel, anything like that, leave the question down in the comment section and probably the next video I put out or maybe another video from now, it'll be the Q&A questions uh, where I'll answer everybody's questions. So uh, please be sure to do that and I appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much and have a great rest of your week. See ya.